hey everyone so we're just having a little team meeting and i was going to show isaiah's little issue i discovered um with dealing with encoding and in, in, in things but um on question 19 in this survey yeah the, um the text is um it's getting truncated right i'm I'm planning to install you know, each Next year. Okay. Now it should be this. Now this, I faked. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah, that's that's what we were supposed to get. Yeah. Right. Now what was interesting was <laughs> when I go into the CSV file and I select this, it is saying fifty-four characters, right? And that was the one I fixed. This one, fifty-four characters. Right. Um, and in our import file, when I come back to here on question 19, we tell it, hey, it's, it's 54, 54 wide. Right. But it is very, it's getting truncated along the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here, here's the quote unquote answer. I just don't understand the why. This is a smart quote. Yes. I changed it to a plain quote. That's when it, and it fixes. Yeah. It fixes it. Right. How in the world is site still? How how come this is still saying they're the same? Well, that's a different question. No, they they shouldn't be right. So that's yeah. a different question. So right, I, yeah, I I think I know what is going on. And again, and I am very careful to say I think I know yeah. because even though this is one of the answers, um, it might be something else. But the main reason is because Unicode characters are bigger. Yeah, depending I, on the encoding. So, for yeah, example, sure. I yeah. understand that. But <laughs> yeah, what I don't so. understand is how come site is site incorrect in reporting the number of characters? That's what's throwing me. No, no, no. So, if you take a look at the raw data, you have a lot of bytes. So, when I talk about raw, I'm talking yeah, about you. binary data, right? Yeah, I was going to ask. So, yeah, like, right. but... so, you have binary data and if you take into account, so let's let's go step by step, uh, and probably I should share my screens to. to yeah. But yeah, let, let me let me share my screen, just in case that I'm going to help copy these both things just so we have them, and maybe you can demo right uh, with 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 them. I'm going to give it both both way. Well, I can manually create the other one. And, 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 yeah, that would be great. And actually, I have a way that I could. The way that I'm going to show that will make a lot of sense right away if you do that. So let's open a new file. Okay. Sure, by the way, it's it's not ready for sharing, our <laughs> yet, but it allows All us right. to share our clipboards together with everybody, which is really cool. There we go. So we got this guy here, but and here's the cool thing: let's open with a hex editor. Um, where's our hex editor? I saw it. Uh, wow, that is interesting. No, I saw oh, it. There it goes. Yeah. All right. So funny. Notice how here, look at the size of this. It takes three spaces because for this character to show up in binary, we need three bytes to show that if you have the correct encoding set up for your um text so that means okay um you tell it okay this is a utf 16 file right notice that utf 8 gives you the actual apostrophe if you tell it this file is a utf 8 it looks at those three bytes and converts them to one character in memory and says, and it counts that as one character. The tool that you're using probably is not understanding that this is a UTF-8 character and then sees three, three different supposedly characters which are not there and is counting them as bigger. So instead of being 54 characters, as you told it, it would be, it is counting 56 or a little bit more. And it is cutting off the two that it is bigger than. Now, if you change it to a normal apostrophe, 
then it is counted as one character, not, not three. You're not getting three dots, you're getting one character. So when you select this, then you get the 50. So right now I have 52 characters here, but if I choose the ones above here, I would get a different size, 54. Now, this is the interesting part. It is getting the correct size. It is 54 characters. That's what we told it it was. But it is not understanding what those three characters are because it's trying to get them individually, which is a very annoying problem. I understand. But, but at this point, the tool that you're using, I guess, SPSS in this case, is failing to recognize these three things as one character is what's going on. So it, it, the difference in size and the fact that it's kind of like truncating at two characters. Um, no, sorry, not two characters, because that's the other question. Well, I don't know how this one is getting truncated, though. I would expect it to be truncated at SO or SOO, and then the one. N and the dot is gone. That's what I would be expecting. Maybe I copied the wrong one. I right. Yeah, you, you, you have the one that had to do with year, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's the, that one, this sentence is shorter than the other one. That's why it wasn't. Right, so, right, right. So let, let's take a look at that one and let's see what happens. But how are we going to, well, but even how are we going to calculate the. Uh, well, what I was doing, part of what I was doing in the process is removing those um, invalid characters, but you were replacing them with the, their implementation. So one of the options is have it replaced to the I, most I can't. No, no, no. this is the this is in the data this is not labeled. oh yeah so then then we're then we're screwed maybe um this one is a very tricky one because we do have the correct information um did you copy the other sentence can we can we get a, a, a sample of the other sentence why does it matter they're the same um because i want to see what the difference in size is if it is just two characters like this but I, it is exactly those two characters there. I copied both. I copied the example of the the smart quote and the single quote. So right. My, um, at this point, I have 52, and the one with the invalid one is 54. So it is two characters. It is counting this one correctly, but these two are above the limit, basically, is what's going on. Because they are not supposed to be considered individual things. They're those three things are supposed to be one character. Um, and the two additional spaces that the original Unicode character takes is being truncated at the end of the string. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if SPSS can deal with UTF-8 data. Is it, that something my, that it can do? Yeah, it's in my import file to say encoding utf-8 like it's there so that's what if that is correct we shouldn't have troubles with unicode characters like that um well not exactly the problem is that this unicode code is not doesn't seem to be you need utf-8 it might be utf-16 well i can change it to no it is utf-8 it is utf-8 but how with auto hot the thing is with auto hotkey we need to be able to select that text and tell it this is how wide it is and we are but then and, and, and this giving us so for example if it was correct it should have given me 54 oh. characters right well well oh, no hold on it gave me 54 in there yeah, so my question is, how, with auto hockey, how do we come up with the 54 instead of 50? Well, how, how, do we, how do we do that? How do we look at that? Right. Let me, let, me, let me get this straight. What we are doing is reading strings from the API. The API is coming up with it wrong. So the solution to this it's annoying, but it is something that we have to do. And I have to do in one of my scripts is each string I get, I convert it to UTF-8 with string get or string put. So basically, let me do this. With... Sorry. Even though like, even though we might think that we're getting 
UTF-8 strings. And this must be done because the API is sending that in. What we will have to do is, let me see, hold on. Uh, here. What I would have to do is create a buffer, put the string in that buffer with the correct size for UTF-8, put it in. Now that I have my buffer, I put my string in that buffer in UTF-8. So if they sent me the wrong string, probably UTX, UTF-16 or whatever, this converts it. And now I have the correct string in the buffer. So I have to do kind of like a conversion of every single one of them, every single string that I get, which is okay because we are doing a loop anyway, so I don't have to do it individually. So in the loop, I just have to have, and then say name equals string get, and I just have to pass it the buffer now, and then tell it that it's UTF-8. So it would, I would grab what they give me, put it in a buffer in UTF-8, and then grab the buffer again into a variable, and then that variable is what I'm gonna save. That should fix the issue. It's annoying that we have to do this, but, I think, even though you're telling me SPSS can handle the UTF-8, I think their API, the, the Alchemir API, is not sending UTF-8 strings. Does that make sense? Well, that's easy to check, right? Right. Like, like they are sending us the raw strings, well, which we... for some reason, when we try to put them as UTF-8, then becomes this issue that we're describing. But I think it, the default here is lays on Alchemir, how it's sending the data. And I can account for it with a little bit of coding. We can we can look at the value labels. You know that file you created for us? Look for the value label, I think, if I'm understanding what you're how you're assessing the problem. The, right. the file that has the latest results. Uh -huh. Right. If we look. Um, so that would be latest results. Yeah, it's online 1097. Right. Now, so I'm understanding this. This is a smart code. Yeah. But you're when you select that. Right. So now let's take a look at it in. I think I can open this up in the hex. Now, notice that in here, we're not having that issue, right? That is because. When I saved the file, I saved it as UTF-8 and the string, it's put correctly here. Now, as I'm doing the other part, when you grab this text and paste it on SPSS, that might seem to be losing some type of formatting, which is not that's, that's what the I thing. would it's expect. Not the formatting, it shows up in the file. It's just like this. Because we told it it's it's shorter in length. It's one size. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so when I'm doing the calculation of the size, so that's when I'm doing this. Where's the width? Here are my widest option. I'm calculating the length of the string that I got from the API exactly like this. Right. And I have been assuming that this was UTF-8 strings, but probably isn't. Well, I would argue, though, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, the fact that in the value labels, that's what we're putting is what they gave us, that that has mm -hmm. the smart quote, then that is UTF-8, what they gave us. Otherwise, it wouldn't have had the, the smart quote in that one we just looked at. So that's where I'm confused of like... That's a good assumption. No, but but I, I would assume here on this file, I wouldn't take this file as what the reality is because when I save the file, I'm saving it as UTF-8 and our key might do some conversion there. So what I have to take a look at is what I'm getting here, which I still cannot see what it is. I just get a string. But what I can do is just make sure of what it is. I can say... This is my title, so my buffer title, buffer, 
um, string put um, title to UTF-8, right? And then I will um, string put, um, we're gonna string put the title to my buffer, and then I'm gonna get it back. It's just stupid, but string get. I'm gonna get it back, my V title in UTF-8. Now, it doesn't matter what the, it doesn't matter what the API gave me. Now I'm making sure 100% that it's UTF-8. And if we have the same issue still, then well, it might be something totally else. So why do you putting... the, let's get the length of it and let's stop it on question 19. And right. Okay. So let's do that. What you just added to see if it changes. Right. Like that. Right. Let's do that. So um, get questions. This is my page number. How do I know the question number? There's a. Okay. So a this. Reason, right. Right. A index for this guy. Yeah. So here. The problem is that the A index changes here. Um, let's create a count. Um, and this starts at zero. And the reason for that is because I want to stop here when count equals 19. I'm gonna stop there, see what's going on. Um, and I have to run the actual uh unit test Whoop. see you see just because of the little change i did something already gave me an error so 15 15 what 1540 on shouldn't that have stopped before doing that yeah This is question one, so ID happened. And what do I have here? When count equals 19. You cannot tell me that I didn't do this 19 times. One, two, three. This. Oh, that has been reset. Yeah, that's right. Okay. No. Breakpoint. Let's do that. There we go. Now we're in question number 19. So my question here, let's see if it has what we're looking for. Uh, and that doesn't have it. Now we have an array of options. Oh no, this is just the, uh, are you sure it's question 19? Hold on. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Yeah, let me go back here yeah. and make sure. That's it's right after that one. Maybe your A index is subtract, whatever, but it's the one after that one. Right, oh yeah, because the hidden ones are, yeah, right. I know what it is. Right, the hidden ones are being, I have to subtract them if I find them. But let's just make kit 20, that's right. it. Yeah, who cares? This is the joys of, again, working with yeah. the of like. Okay, okay, so here we go. Now, what we are getting, that's it. Yep. I, I am, so I'm getting this guy here. Yep. That, to me, it's looking like UTF-8 because we are working with UTF-8, right. but that might not be true. And that's the problem that we're trying to face. So right now, when we get it, uh -huh, I'm just subtracting the ones that I don't care about. And then here, I want to stop when we start up the options. Here we go. Here we go. So this is my title, right? That's okay. I don't care about that one. Let's stop on the next one. This is the one that we care about. 
So let's do this. Let's have a output debug string length of title. So that's giving me the length of it before I do this. And then I need the string length after I do the conversion. And if there's any difference between the two, yep. then we're going to be onto something. Let's see. We are on 20. We go down here. We stop out here. There we go. And the first title here. So we go here. I don't care about this question here. Now let's clean that up. Um, at this point, we got 54 characters, which is correct. This is, cor well, I think it's correct. That's that's the conundrum. That's, that's right. what we had before. Yeah, that says 54 characters, right? So that's correct. Does it change when I do any conversion here? So now I have that. That should say 54 again. It is 54. So no change whatsoever in the size. I still have the smart quote. Now, let me capture that. Let me capture that. Now let's open a new file, put it in. And now I'm going to see it on my, let me see that on my text editor. Yeah, you still, I do have my UTF-8 encoded string, you see? So it is UTF-8. Whatever is happening in UTF and SS, SPSS is because it's not reading that as those three well, characters how, there. It's not reading it as UTF-8 for Let me reason. throw out some stupid ideas. How do we, how do we get the measurement of it in hex characters? Is that the right way to say that? How do we get yeah. that? That is, I have 56 here. Right. So how do we come right. up with that programmatically? Mm. Well, I can get, and yeah, you see, you see at this point, you see that it was cutting off at yeah, YE and right. it was just a two. So it is just I a two the problem. I just didn't understand right. how, how to get around. You right. Know. What we can do is, oh, by the way, if I have a buffer, what is the size of that buffer right here? There we go. This is my best, you see? So, <laughs> so this is the thing. The, and this is the cool thing about the buffer. The That's buffer is, yeah. sorry, it is giving you the byte size, okay. not the size of the string. Right. So this one minus one is what we need because the, there's one at the end that is the null character to let the computer know that that's where the string ends. So we don't need that one. So this is 56. This is the one that we could do. We just put it in. Now we have our length. So what, we can, what we're going to do is this length is going to be the title See, size. This is the shit there you go. as to why I don't want to be a programmer. Like... <laughs> Yeah, you know, and like right. So now, now we're getting now all your things are gonna change. Well, well, minus wrong, one, here. right? Some, some may, some may not. What do you mean? Well, those that don't have a Unicode character in them probably would stay the same. I would think. Uh, let's check that. Uh, that's a very easy check. Um, let's do this. Let's run. That same question. Some didn't have the 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 next the, the first question. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, that's not what I meant. Um, yeah. Hold on. We need to know before and after. I should have. I should have the way. Yeah, I should have them. This one says thirty-seven. This one says fifty-six. Now this one that says thirty-seven. If I copy and put it in, it should be thirty-seven characters. Is right what you're yeah. suggesting. And I got 37 characters, yes. So I'm getting the right size anyways. So my fix, and this guys is the part that I that we talk about every certain time about testing. 
we just made a change in the code. We don't know how that affects our code, right? So what I have to do now is run my tests and see if any of my expectations break. One of them broke. Now I have to see why it broke, but I know what my recent change was, right? But I think in this particular case, it is because my expectations have to change. Right. For that 119, for example, for 19 here, we were saying, hey, the function should return 54. Well, no, now it has to return 56. So I have to change my expectations of all of this. Once I change my expectations, it should come back with the correct result. And if that is true, my code is good. But that's the cool thing about just having some tests. I did some changes. The changes are fresh in my mind. I just run my units and hope that nothing breaks with I, with I ever, I just did. But this was a very interesting problem. So we needed the byte size instead of the string length. Um, because SPSS, when you're pasting or putting the things in, is getting the bytes actually. Yeah. Wow, that's insane. Yeah. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that or tried to enjoy that. Uh, like I said, <laughs> this is the stuff that we deal with. We, we're working with client stuff and it's not always fun, but um, thankfully we have a clue what we're doing. So cheers. <laughs>